We have a 16 by 8 covered wagon trailer here, V-nose. Diamond plate going up the front, covering up that seam, diamond plate on the bottom. Looks like an awfully heavy duty frame, and this is all this is all like powder coated, so that'll never rust. I like that a lot. Your typical chains and uh, safety gear. Emergency stop, safety chains, uh, emergency brake, electrical brake hookup. This one comes in white. Nice aluminum rims with easy lube axles. This one's a dual axle. Also comes with a drop tailgate. Drop tailgate has five hinges and they're all greasable. That's kind of nice and you can see it's all powder coated. Two latches to, to activate the door on the back, two handles in case you need a little bit of help. It's kind of got a little bit of a flare out on the, the fender, the fender well. Bit of a flare out there. This one differs from the Homesteaders in that it's got more of an internal hinge. It's got three instead of two, but they're internal. It's got a nice, oh, this has also got a nice wide door, I noticed. Okay, with a step. It's got a four foot door, which is kind of different. Beaver tail in the back, drops down a little bit. Two vents, one on the bottom and one on the top, front, ventilation. This differs from the homesteaders in that this is all particle board inside. It's not quite as nice, but it's not bad either. It's got four tie downs. It's not bad, it's just different. Looks like they have an optional vent on top you could put in too. You got a, a bead LED light on the top. Why is hanging out a little bit here? Door seems to open and close without any issue. I like the fact that everything's powder coated. That's really nice. That'll last forever. All right, guys. So there's a look at the covered wagon with the V nose.